Greetings and welcome to Guitar Addictions. I am your host, Devin. I am a seasoned musician of 45 years playing experience. I haven't really played professionally that much. I haven't really focused on my work life in raising a family and now my children are grown, so I'm focusing on my music because I'm retired from a working life. I'm 62, I might not look like it, but that is. So what I'm going to do today is I had a video earlier about a guitar that I said, guess what this is? You can't even guess what kind it is. So this is part two. So you can guess it, but I'm going to start the show like I normally do because of who I am from Chicago. That thought band, hockey band, I am with to play, not professionally, but played in the beer leagues and won some championships in the roller league. So I growing up and that was that. I also played on keyboards. Uh, I recently started getting more involved with playing the keyboards and I've really kind of taken to it naturally because of my background in playing music. So without further ado, I'm going to stop this. I've got a track lined up from a CD I made at ho in my house back in 1999. I said I was gonna start doing some fresh material, but I, this, it, this channel is just in its infancy, pretty much. And I've had so many hiccups along the way trying to get this thing off the ground. I, uh, I have a computer, I'm just using my phone. So I have a one-man show here, but I've got my studio all ready to go. And I spent a lot of time getting it prepared for these kind of things, so. Without further ado, let's just get started here. The blues tune. If I'm in tune, I should be able to sink right into it. So I'm keeping the uh, light bulb box on here if I can to keep you from seeing what it actually is. Where's my pick? No matter, I don't even know. Oh, bonehead again. Speaking of bonehead. Bonehead truckers. Got their shirt on. I'm proud, proud to say I'm a member of their channel. You go over there and Tell Ike, tell Ike over there that Devo uh, says hello. Yeah. 
So, let's hold that thought for a second, because now we're going to come back to that in a minute about the guitar. I'm going to keep this video kind of under 10 minutes, I hope. There should be another song in the queue there that I wrote. Oh, these are all instrumentals I'm playing here. <laughs> Been so long, I just can't remember. I mean, I haven't written down somewhere. I just don't have access to, access to right at the moment. So anyway, uh, I think I'll wrap this up now. Uh, so the big reveal. What is this? Well, that is the big question. Well, ready for the action here? Because I'm gonna cut to the chase here. It's a Chipson. Dun, 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 dun. That's right, it's not real Gibson. It's, it's a Chipson. It's one of these that you can get off of eBay. And the reason I bought this a long time ago was because it had the relic look. Okay, I think these go for around, I don't know, two and a half, whatever. I don't know how they get these things across. But let's just say this. For the value of what I paid for it, I had a print uh, leveling done by a friend of mine named Richard Scott Davis here in Columbia. And uh, this thing plays phenomenally for what it is. It is a set neck guitar that is obviously not a real one. I can't really sell this to anybody without damaging the, uh, the logo on it. Cause that's what the, I believe that's what the laws are on um, resale of this after you purchase it because of future sales have five, 10, 15 years from now. So I, you know, I can totally agree with that and dig where they're coming from on that. But, I mean, if you buy one of these and you just have it, and you've got one that looks like this thing, it's an actual Gibson, and you're playing at a club, and you, you have the idea like, man, last time something almost happened my guitar, well, take this, because you're not going to damage your valuable instrument. Because these things are on, you can get these things every day of the week. They'll even give you a discount the more you buy them. Uh, I bought... 
and have several of these kind of things. Gypsum, pretender fenders, whatever you want to call them. I mean, whatever, but uh, and even a serial number, I put lock tuners on it. Let's say I had the frets leveling down, and it needed it, believe me. These are good uh, bones. Take the, the hardware out and all that stuff, or some of it's good, some of it's bad. And of course, you know, stuff some from, you know, it's, it's from overseas. So you got to take that in consideration, obviously. But when it comes down to it, though, you still got uh, a wooden body with a set neck, you know, and the truss rod is not like Gibson style, but it's adjustable and it works. I put a roller bridge on here to make it even better. And now I take this to play because I don't want to damage my real one. It makes sense, but I don't really play out that much anymore because of my age. And uh, I just, just prefer to do stuff at home. It's a lot more convenient and easy. I can do it right in my living room. So anyway, I appreciate like and subscribe if you enjoy what you see here. Like I say, uh, Squirt Ike over at Mohead Truckers. Uh, I have some other channels that I'm that I support, but I will mention those in a different video because I'm going to have to do one directly towards them. So, peace out, people. With prayer. Love you all. Be good. Drive safe. Ask Ike, he'll tell you. Don't be a bonehead there, boy.